Cheers, lady! Cheers! Cheers, Cheers Kika! Cheers, Kika! So today I'm gonna talk to you with uh, my co-teachers from the Self-Love Solution Program, uh, Kate Caviga and Luna Garcia. Say hi, Kate and Luna. Hello, Kika. Hi again, Kika. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm with um, Kate and Luna here to talk to you about the self-love solution program that I actually just completed last uh, November. And together with these ladies, uh, we were in the same class and we want to share with you what we've learned from the practice and how we're going to actually have um, our specialized programs through this um, self-love solutions teaching. So, uh, Kate, you want to introduce yourself first? Sure, everyone. So, my name is Kate, and my specialization of the self-love solution program is to help teens and young adults find their voice. Nice! Hi, partner! Actually, uh, Chris is my partner in the program. Again, I'm Luna, and I'm a self-love solutions teacher, and I specialize in transcending self-sabotage. There you go. Wow. How about you, Krista? What's your specialization? My specialty is all about self, uh, radical self-acceptance, yeah. actually. So that's the keyword, radical. So it's all about authenticity and being your uh, most authentic and whole self. Yes, that's it. That's you, Krista. <laughs> it's showing up to the world. That's your key guys. <laughs> yes, and we love it. And I hope that um, everyone who would listen to you know what we're going to share with also see that in themselves that they could also transcend the self-sabotaging that they've been doing to themselves and um, come out as you know better versions of themselves. Right. Yeah. Diba? Oh, oh, amazing at it. Diba? So out of this entire program, diba? so if you could describe um, self-love, how would you describe it? Kate? <laughs> oh, youngest. Now. Let's talk with the youngest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, to me, self-love is what Krista touched on. It would be self-acceptance. I think that's the greatest gift that the Self-Love Solution Program gave to me. It would be not trying to transcend your humanity, but embracing and owning the true nature of your spirit. And that's how I feel I could summarize my journey in a nutshell the past few months. Uh, and I think part of acceptance also is that feeling of liberation that it brings. And honestly, it's liberation that keeps me going each and every day. So really, I hope in this conversation that we have, that each of you can see the power of acceptance and how to reach that space of self-acceptance. It starts with owning who you are. That means the good and the bad. And the thing is, I can go far and beyond this and say that um, there's no such thing as good and bad. I think there's no such thing as right and wrong. I know that's something that's radical uh, because I believe that life has a way of turning all these like detours and these bends and curves into something magical and delightful. You just have to be open-minded and ready for what life has to throw at you. And the only way to really get there, I think, is to trust yourself, to trust that you have it in you to be able to grow, uh, to expand and evolve. And that starts first with accepting the self. Wow, such wisdom, not a very yeah. young age. So I get that the totality of, you know, the program. I second the motion. <laughs> yes, plus one. Oh, I have plus one. Okay. I get you uh, no. what, what What do you think? Like, uh, Kate summarized it mm -hmm. all, but at the perspective of a 26 years old. No, uh, and with me, I'm in my 50s. No, I just turned 50, not for the 50s. Old I'm 50. Girl. I'm the golden girl. And uh, when I took up the self-love solutions program, um, I was a point in my life when, you know, 
I really discovered myself already. And when Kate said it's that it starts with self-acceptance, it really does because that's the first step. If you don't know yourself, you wouldn't jump into that, you know, doing self-love. And the, but the program comes with first self-nurturing and then the self-acceptance and then the self-sovereignty. With the self-nurturing, it's just giving time to yourself. It's just, you know, myself and I. And I guess it's not selfish to really focus on oneself. And it's the greatest gift that you could give yourself. It's, I, I think the self word would be, you know, all of, I mean, it's what we will talk about, but it really is the reality that we have to face that before we could give to others, we have to fill our tank. Yeah. You know, we cannot give what, what we have in store, but what we have to give is the overflow. And with that, we have to really focus, you know, I mean, take time to relax. Yeah. Hello, unfiltered. Exactly, <laughs> you know. And then just honor yourself. You know, you don't yes. don't plan to do something, but just allow everything to flow. And um, with that comes the self acceptance. Like Kate said, good or bad, you have to honor it. We have to do everything without guilt and shame. Yeah. But when we learn how to do that. Well, I mean, I guess nothing matters, eh? When something happens, you know, again, the good, the bad, the hard, the easy. When everything is just accepted and you let it flow, yeah. it comes out naturally. The way you mentioned, really, it's, you know, us being the natural in the natural state, in our most authentic state. Yeah. When you have fully accepted yourself, it will just come out, right? you know. Physically, of course, we are beautiful, 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 and that glow, yeah, yeah, that yeah. glow, yes, that you cannot like take away, no matter what you do to yourself, when you, you would see it in the eyes, eh, the ba? and that glow, pag wala yan, you know that, you know, you need to do something, yeah. I always say that, um, people say you need fixing, we don't need to fix people because we are never broken. It's just that we haven't experienced our wholeness. We haven't discovered yet our true self. And with that comes the third, you know, self-sovereignty. Yeah. It's owning who we truly are. And when you reach that level, I think every with everybody like being that, I mean, it will be a great place. I mean, our world will be a great place. Curating our um, space would be so much easy because we'll be like dealing with people with the same mindset, you know, and uh, in just doing everything with love, for love, and you know, about love. I think it's love, love, love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I totally agree. Oh, oh, oh. What I think is, because, you know, I've been a, a wellness fanatic. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I'm big on wellness, mm -hmm. right? So that's why when I went through the self nurturing um, learning. I had to like skip a few, mm -hmm. a few steps. It was easy for us. Yeah. Yeah. We're already doing it, eh, diba? We're already working on ourselves. And that's like, but it doesn't stop there, pala. Like, you know, every day, it's like, oh, you're a work in progress, right? You have to be consistently working on yourself. You can't just stop there, right? Like, you, you don't stop on self nurturing, right? Um, self nurturing is one step to get better physically, mentally, and emotionally. But at the same time, you have to like who you are, right? Like, that's where acceptance comes in, right? Like, are you liking who you are? Or are you liking who you're becoming, right? And that tells it so much about the story that you're writing, right? Because even if you look this way, unfiltered and normal, right? If you look a certain way, but you're not liking yourself, um, it's because in my Angelou said it's like success is really liking who you are yeah. and like what yeah. you do, right? And it's really and loving, you know, yourself in the process, right? So I think, you know, through the journey you just get into that place where where you've taken care of yourself and you like the way you've become, right? Perfect. Diba? So and sovereignty, like Luna said, it's really Owning your truth. Yeah, right? that's it. Be yeah. from who you truly are. You were never broken. You were never, you didn't need fixing. Yes. You just need to come back to who you are. Yes. 
And that's really like coming back to your true self. And when we deny ourselves of our truths, that's when really the the story against the the green, right? And where shame and doubt comes in. Yes. And um, I think if everyone, I agree that if everyone would just live their truth, right? We don't have to hide behind the shadows. Mm-hmm. We don't have to keep ourselves in the closet. We just have to be the light, right? And if you allow yourself to be that light, give other permission. To permission to others to do the same. Yeah. To shine is your own light. Yeah. Right? So, it's like, you know, um, I, like I always say, to, even to my friends and to my students, if you allow yourself to become who you truly are, you become the permission slip for others to do the same. Wow. Right? And that's really the power of it, right? Like showing up um, based on who you truly are allows others to do the same. Yeah, and the authenticity, you know? Yeah. So, and, and that's really like the beauty of it. And I would say like, would you agree, like what was the most me. powerful takeaway for the, like, you know, from, from this program? Wow. It's a lot to condense into like a sentence. I'll try to. It's not as e um self love to me. What I appreciated most about the program and how it transformed my life, what didn't necessarily change me, uh, if that makes sense, it would be that the tools and resources that were offered to me, they're very practical and obviously effective. Um, they led me back to myself. Uh, if I may share a bit of my personal story. So growing up, uh, I was raised in a very traditional school setting. And I, what I got used to was shrinking myself so much so that I fit in the box, in the box that the school created. Mm-hmm. And, and that box is manufactured. So it isn't just for me, but imagine my, my peers as well. And so that was the norm. The norm was to conform. There was the need to be perfect, uh, the need to be relevant, the need to be eloquent in order to be liked, in order to belong. So imagine that environment was filled with pressure, filled with challenges also, because basically you're not allowed to be yourself. And so that was years of programming. And until this day, I'll, I have to admit, although hard to admit <laughs> that I'm still unlearning all of that. Uh, and so really the gift of self-love, Wansi, it's it it always goes back to self-acceptance. So learning to shed the layers mm-hmm. and to unlearn those limiting beliefs that, you know, were really ingrained. Uh, and it's not to point the finger at anyone that it's the fault of this person or the fault of this community or the fault of this school. Um, it's just when you're a child, you don't really know what's going on. When you're born into a certain type of way of living, way of being, way of thinking, you end up thinking that that's the only way mm. or that's that's correct or that's right. All these labels, right? So I grew up with labels and um, self-love coming to terms with what that really means and learning to live with that, it liberated me, it it freed me. And it's it's something that isn't something that happens overnight. Uh, It's each and every day, right? You remind yourself of who you really are, um, what it is that you love, not just what you love to do, but you know, what what your values are. Um, always go back to that. So self-love, I think it's about remembering who you are, minus all the layers of like years of you being here on Earth. Uh, and it's it's really just remembering your soul, I think. Not just who you are, but the essence of who you are, which is your soul. So I can go on and on again. Yeah, well, I'll take chair time. I don't know what that's for. It's an onion. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's like all the layers. Yeah. And I agree, mm-hmm. like, if you can just sum it up in one, like, phrase, it would be, like, breaking the labels. Yes. Yeah. Just coming to who you truly are. Like, yeah. Breaking the mold. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you are. Yeah. So, Nunes, what about you? What's your um, powerful mm-hmm. takeaway from the spirit ground? Since kid. Easy to answer. No, no, no. Um, kidding aside, it's really, you know, mm-hmm. what was mentioned earlier, 
Um, it's all about the judgment, the right? But before, uh, my love language is really serving others. It's really pleasing others. I do compromise a lot, and that's when I experience burnt out. Diba? And then when I realized that for us to be able to give more love, yes. more service, is we have to honor ourselves, serve ourselves, you know, we have to pamper ourselves and give time to really ourselves. Puro talang ourselves, self, self, self. It's really the self. Yeah. And um, when I also, you know, came back to my core, and really acted in who I really was and not be ashamed to show who I really was. And then everything just came in naturally and sobrang light. You know, it's just that parang na release eh, from the chains of guilt and shame. Wala pala dapat yon. Kasi you will be accepted by your people no matter who you are and what you do as long as you know that you're doing the right thing. Well, wrong or right is also in the perspective of others, eh, diba? But as long as, you know, um, you do it in the sense of, you know, uh, love lang talaga. Yeah. The, the, it's so hard to describe that feeling because there's no really one word to describe what self-love is because it's an experience. Diba? It's an emotion. It's a feeling because emotions are feelings are, and feelings are different, diba? And, um... And you really have to uh, experience it to be able to know what self-love truly is. And, you know, contact Krista, <laughs> Kate, and La Luna Luca uh, for that. But we have trial classes, Krista, if yes. they want, really want to know what self-love really is. Yes. And if you really, um, you are gravitated to um, uh, radical self-acceptance. Christa, yeah, that's really that's really um, something that I think they don't teach in school. Yeah, yeah, and yes, yeah. It's a very basic thing. I think in kindergarten <laughs> we were taught to be kind to others, but we were never taught to be kind to ourselves. And one thing, but when we are asked, um, who do you love? Yeah, we list out a lot of people, a lot of things. But we never put in ourselves, our name. Kaya dapat, de ba, de ba? We we put our name, you know, on top. Yeah. After God, yeah. you know, it should be. A... And it's really like you know when you talk about. Uh, Instead of saying that, de ba? Parang people who are not kind to others are not kind to themselves. True. Hurt people hurt other people. Oh. It's because. You know, of course, misery loves company. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how they want others to feel, right? But if you feel self-love, we feel love within you. There's only one place when you can overflow, right? Yeah. You can only give what you have, yeah. right? Yeah. It's really like from your cup, you you give from your overflow. Yeah. Right? yeah. And sometimes yeah. when I talk about it with other people, like the reason why I have so much energy and so much passion is because. My cup is so full. I'm gonna grab it. Oh my god! Overflow. Oh, oh. oh serving sa plata pa. Oh, de ba? Okay. And you just want to like give up oh, and just tell it to others. You can only give what you have. No, and when you live it, you attract other people with the same intention. Correct. That's why you get to curate, oh. de ba? Your people, and then who you mingle with, who you. Allow in your space. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the most powerful takeaway for me is really that it's really building your boundaries around uh -huh. yourself, right? And that's a form of self love also because you respect yourself and your energy. Mm -hmm. right? like it's like um, when they say, na parang, oh, how come you know um, you're saying no na to us, right? And the teaching that really is. Core to this, to this practice is that no is a concrete thing. Uh oh, so you don't have to explain yourself. If you said no to a party, it's because I have my reasons. I don't need to explain yeah. it, right? I don't want to hang out with you. It's because I have my reasons. Mm -hmm. I'm saying yes to certain things in my life. Yeah. Or saying yes to myself is a no to others. But at least I said yes to myself. Mm -hmm. Like you, Luna, de ba? Mm -hmm. we always come yeah. yeah. so, yeah. we can't say no. Because we want to please others. That was 
us before really experiencing our core and really honoring that no is a complete sentence exactly. and it should be respected. No questions asked. Yeah. And but no heartbeat, no feelings involved, no emotions. Walang dapat magalit because no means a yes for ourselves. Correct. Correct. And with Kate, I'm sorry, we we've spoken about this <laughs> in the past. Di ba na parang we noticed our our friend circle became very small. Yes. You want to talk about that, Kate? <laughs> <laughs> They've been talking about the word no as to how powerful it is. Uh, one thing that I've learned from saying no, it's as sacred as saying yes. And, and also no is what allows me to love both you and me. Uh, so I think being intentional is what I've learned to uh, practice uh, each and every day. And sometimes uh, I I still tend to say yes so I feel no. But I mean the mere fact that I'm aware that's already progress. So I think that's also part of like self acceptance, right? Yeah. Learning to uh, forgive yourself mm-hmm. when let's say you fall down today, uh, because the next day uh, is a new day and an opportunity to try again. So for as long as you're aware, I think that's already more than enough. Mm-hmm. And you're on your way, you know, and um, I guess going off of that also, I'd like to connect this to how when it comes to no longer judging yourself, um, part of that is also showing up no matter what to whatever uh, opportunity is given to you, showing up and not having to have a story or an explanation something that's overly prepared. I think that's something that uh, I got so used to uh, doing or coming to, like, let's say, coming to class, coming to an interview, like right now, like I would always have like a bunch of notes. <laughs> Just because I didn't trust myself enough, you know? And I felt like I had to have something that was just so perfectly here in it or something. Uh, but then now, because I'm at a different point where I feel like it's it a lot more me to be raw. It's a lot more, um, that's something that to me is more valuable, I would say. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm explaining it in a way that makes sense, but um, I'm, I'm, at a, I'm at a point where I'm already okay with me as myself. Nothing more, nothing less. Like I don't need to be as eloquent or I don't need to be as articulate. I don't need to be at the best part of my life or the best point of my life for me to be part of an interview. Like, I just allow myself now to unfold naturally, unedited, unfiltered. Yeah. And, uh, because I think that's, that's what self acceptance is about, too. It's this is me, take it or leave it, like me or not. I know who I am. I know that what I do is what I enjoy. It means the world to me. and that you know the world within my fingertips is what i'm able to touch and move mm-hmm. that's more than enough chris i remembered something they were rem- you the movie jerry mcguire they were yeah. lahat tayo kilig na kilig with the <laughs> with the with the line uh, you complete me <laughs> but now you know after you know what the journey that i've been and the self-love solution no one can complete us better than you know we do. We should complete ourselves, and we could we can't find it in anyone or anything. We complete ourselves, and when we find that, wow! I mean, it's a great feeling. Oh yeah, it's so it's yeah, true. it's not the and you complete me. Yeah, it's just not. coming home to yourself. Mm-hmm. So you make just that, and um, yeah, just just really so much um, learnings also from the sharings that we have right during the classes like every certain parts of our lives like Kate you know being in your 20s or Luna being in your golden years mm-hmm. and Tita Marisa for instance Tita mm-hmm. Marisa is one of our teachers and she's like seven seven years yeah. Yeah. Like the end of her mm-hmm. um, diba? Parang, um, golden years then and it's like, you know, learning from each other mm-hmm. um, in different stages of our lives, right? Mm-hmm. And he, of course, our, um, our culture um, and Nathan and the way that they've 
uh, learn through their experiences, right? Not just talks about um, what you learn in that stages, but also like what you learn based on other people's experiences, right? And how we're so different, but we're so the same, right? Yeah. And when you who this same journey of um, self um, sovereignty, right? Mm-hmm. And the goal, and yeah, have our own truths. And yeah, with that, I really hope you join us in this program, which is really um, something that I think everyone in this world should look at. Sure. <laughs> it's a big uh, Yeah, I feel like I, I, <laughs> I believe that um, everyone deserves to come home to themselves. Well, that was your term earlier. And, uh, each, and each of us really needs to experience our own wholeness without anyone um was this uh being taking part or getting the piece of you because uh we shouldn't allow that we should keep ourselves whole and unbreakable and we have to get back that power and control so uh so any any word scrub kate and luna Wow. For this program, at least, just to encourage others to take part in how they can grow from this experience. Mm-hmm. Well, self love, I think it's a natural calibrator. So you'll notice the moment you start to choose yourself every moment and every single day, maybe your circle may reduce in size, but you'll find that you yourself will expand and evolve and that feel lighter as a result and I think that's priceless and when I see a natural calibrator that moves even your surroundings those who you'll attract are the ones who are real and true the ones who are basically a match to you it's not about who's a good person or a bad person anymore at this point it's just being a match and attracting all the matches you know <laughs> no, 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 no. who doesn't want to live a happier life that way right and I think that's why the self-love solution program is so important it's because admittedly right us humans we have that desire to be happier so the solution really is is self-love and I think um nothing can really go wrong when you choose yourself it may feel strange awkward and off at first if you're not used to uh prioritizing yourself first and foremost but what i guarantee what i promise you is that when you do that when you start believing in yourself uh nurturing yourself accepting yourself and being the director of your own state of being and creating that life that you desire that's your way of also taking better care of those around you. I mean, imagine you'll be that that light, mm-hmm. that source of light, not just for yourself, but even those around you. So that's not only a gift to yourself, but those whom you love, those whom you'll be with each and every day. Beautiful. Thanks, <laughs> Luna, copy paste. <laughs> no, change is inevitable, diba? And not, um, it's not always accepted. It's not always positive in the beginning. But the goal is really to reach the talaga, we transcend, we evolve, we always evolve. And we always want to be, you know, a better version of ourselves. And um, getting to that part, is really a journey each and every one of us should undergo and um, after you know studying you know a lot of things you know um uh self-love really culminates you know the the first 50 years of my life and now i could truly say that i am living my best life and the next 50 years when i i mean it would be i think really the best you know, years of my life, and um, uh, and it really comes out. The I mean, our glow—it's not attributed to you know whatever skincare we use or whatever we do to our body, but it really comes from within. And um, I could say that um, uh, it's—I am unfulfilled. <laughs> I am complete, and I—I I mean. Uh, it's really that. It's really, we own this. 
that power and you have to really use that. Yes. And you will also attract people and you will be able to uh, um, inspire the ba the people you encounter. And hindi siya, you don't need to talk about it. Yeah. They will just see it and feel it. Yeah. And those are the people that you will attract to your life. Diba? To your circle. Diba? And I love this, Krista. Thank you for it. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity. And you know, it, 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 there's so much to you know, share. You know, to Kate, we were, uh, it, <laughs> this will go on forever and forever. And uh, you know, um, we are, we are lucky. I mean, the other teachers, our co-teachers. I, I, I feel that you know we, we have this gift that we have to share. Talaga, we cannot like, keep it to ourselves because we've been blessed with the opportunity to learn this program, and it's just getting it out there. And you, you know, um, uh, allocating a, a segment of your, I you know. Um, uh, show, show <laughs> to um, self love yeah. is you know sharing your gift to others, and with that, you know, I honor you, Krista, and uh, uh, your, your special gift of you, you know, having radical, <laughs> radical self acceptance, <laughs> you know, radical self acceptance, <laughs> you know, radical self acceptance. It's new to our ears, the right? oh. And I, I bet a lot of people who would hear that would, you know, take time to think, yes. you know, what is radical self-acceptance yes. and how important it is for us, the right? And how it will change, you know, like, the way our life would go if we would, you know, yes. learn, yeah, yes. learn, yeah, learn to accept and, you know, jump and you know take the leap of faith and erase that fear of going through a program right that self-help share di ba? Yeah. Di ba? Yeah. and walang makakapag decide on kundi sarili mo lang yeah. so just take that leap of faith we did and i think did us good look how you know <laughs> beautiful we are <laughs> cheers 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 okay cheers Thank you, Krista. So, taking some time to uh, share your your knowledge and your practice, mm -hmm. really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, oh, I'm just really like big on that. Like, I'm always um, talking about how you are the teaching, right? Mm -hmm. Your life is the teaching, right? And the way you live your life is really how others learn to to express themselves mm -hmm. as well. And you know, of course, you know, we've gone through different journeys, but uh, my journey was really like being kept in the shadows, right? Like, you know, wanting to really sparkle and glow and, you know, show my light into the world. But people are like just wanting to keep you in a box, right? Mm -hmm. And just really tell you to act a certain way, mm -hmm. right? But as you go along the, the journey of self love, it's really all about um, taking care of yourself and also coming out of that shell, right? And just really living your, your truth. Um, in a way, um, I'm always saying, it's like, you know, um, always, if you give something to others, give the best part of yourself or self also, right? Mm. And then, then that's where it follows, right? Yeah. Like, you know, just in the young, like, cause we're, as Filipinos, we're like, oh, pag, pagod na pagod ka na, ubos na ubos ka na. That's when you really realize that I'm burnt out. Oh, oh, burnt out ka na. It's because you've never left a part of of the best parts of yourselves to you, right? Mm -hmm. Because as moms and as daughters or as care, caretakers of others, right? We always seem that the noble thing to do is to take care mm -hmm. of others, forgive. But the best gift that you can give, like said, like Kate was saying, is the best gift that you can give to the world is to take care of yourself oh. so that you can take care of others. So there you have it. Oh, and really yeah. grateful for your time today. And uh, just really, um, I hope you, you all get encouraged to work on yourselves. And if no one has told you, you're loved, you're heard, you're appreciated. So please like subscribe and follow this channel for more um episodes like this thank you key guys <laughs> bye key guys <laughs>